Hello, I'm Joanna Garcia and welcome to my channel. Today I want to help you stomp your way forward and take your plane to the next level with Christopher Norton's Intercity Stomp. Jazz collections and it's such a great chance to get really stuck in with your rhythm in a kind of rock style. So here goes. I won't stomp to that. I think I was in a bad mood. I stubbed my toe. Here's my first piece of advice. Nail that rhythm. In this piece your left hand really is just like a bass guitar. It's providing a kind of rhythmic drive to what's going on. And your right hand has got all the rhythmic interest over the top. So in order to really shine with this, you need to be so sure of that rhythm. I suggest the best way to do this is using a metronome and parts of your body, even your feet, to tap the rhythm. I'm not gonna start at the metronome marking that it says on the music, 144 beats per minute. I'm gonna start a little bit slower than that so I can work my way up. So I'm starting with 110 beats per minute. One, two, three, four, rest! If I get really good, maybe I might just move it up five notches. What about tapping my feet? One, two, three, four, rest! Ba, 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 ba. It's going to be quite a tummy workout. I think it's going to be a good thing. Another way to change it up using my trusty bucket bongos, but you can do this with a wooden spoon and a pan. I mean, everybody will love you for it. And let's try upping the speed on the metronome a little bit more. 120 beats per minute. Let's give it a go. One, two, three, four, rest. Before long, that rhythm is internalized. When you've got really good with a metronome, then I would really try to do this with two hands, but just tapping at this stage to get the rhythm 100% nailed. A little bit like this. One, two, three, four. My second piece of advice, know the chord positions that your right hand uses, like the back of your hand. Well, your right hand. You have to understand that Intercity Stump is made up of essentially three or four chord positions that are taken by the right hand. Here they are. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. The third one is pretty much the same as the first, but an octave higher. And the fourth one, a little bit more extended there. So I'm going to take the first one, which is based on a G, a B flat, a C, and a D. Now, within this chord, you need to be using a staccato touch. And I would really advise you to be able to do these notes, but in any order you choose. Now, in this, there's a pattern of four notes. And you can hear that they're staccato. They're, they're not meant to be um, legato at all. It's the real character of this stomp that everything's quite bright and staccato. So take these four notes and let's find different ways of doing them. What about if we did... Maybe do that a few times or... Can you find any different ones? in lots and lots of different ways your hands getting used to the shape of the chord and when you come to do it becomes much easier now the second pattern is quite tricky because not only do you have to move to a different hand position but you also have got to play chords in fourths like that so the more you can get used to this hand position the better 
So, how's about this for a little bit of fun? There's a great little poem, and you may have heard it, called I Eat My Peas With Honey. So, what about if you take the four notes needed for this, F, G, and then four up on B flat, little finger on C, and what about if you created your own little pattern of notes on the words of I Eat My Peas With Honey? A little bit like this. I'll do the first two lines, and then I'm sure you can Google the poem and find the whole of the verse. I eat my peas with honey, I've done it all my life. Here's just a little word of caution with bar 11. Bar 11 is one bar completely on its own because it kind of extends the position. So you're going to be playing. Now you can practice it lots of different ways. You can turn it into different rhythms and repeat the patterns. But here's one thing I would say. Be very aware of your alignment. Can you see how my wrist is moving from side to side? If you try to play the D and the F with your wrist here, you're gonna get into trouble. So make sure that when you're playing up here, can you see how my wrist just moves laterally to the side? So you play, and then your wrist comes down. It becomes a lot easier to play. You've gotta work on that little bit. By itself, lots and lots. And here's my third piece of advice. Nail the ending. So when I'm talking about the ending, I really mean the last three bars. And there are three difficulties here. First, the chord you have to find in the right hand. Second, the chord you have to find in the left hand. And finally, the staccato parallel motion motif from the beginning. Let's start with the right hand chord. It's an extended chord. It's quite different from what happened at grade one. And you've really got to help your hand figure out where the notes are. And let's create something different from this ingredient. So take the chord three bars before the end, G, C, F, and let's create a little four note pattern with that. And I've got the pedal there because I'm just creating something. In the left hand, I'm just gonna start playing some Gs. where those notes are. So maybe get your hands on your knee and when you're ready go find. So find it first and then play. Find. When you get really good at that why not try playing two notes from that little pattern. If you wanted you could even stand at the other side of the room and run to the piano to do it. Ready go. When you get really good at that add another one and so on. I hope you can really get stuck into some of these quite creative ways to practice some of the difficulties that are part of Intercity Stomp. But yet when you play them in such a, a musical way and you practice them with creativity and joy, they're not a chore. When you're finally able to play this piece in all its glory, what a sense of achievement. If you've enjoyed this, don't forget to tell me how you get on in the comments and also let me know which other pieces you'd like me to explore for the practice techniques. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Happy stomping!